We start tonight with some high hopes from Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb, presented in his State of the State address. Good evening, I'm Brad Bird. The governor focused on the economy, health, education, and a long process of connecting Evansville to Indianapolis. Eyewitness News' Desherian McBroom joins us now. Desherian? Yeah, that's right, Brad. Governor Holcomb says his main goal is preparing the state of Indiana for its future with plans to execute all of his goals over the next two years. Ladies and gentlemen, the state of our state is strong and about to get stronger. Words from Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb as he addressed Hoosiers during his State of the State address. He laid out three goals he has for Indiana that he believes is worthy of a state doing well, turning heads and always seeking to improve. One, let's secure Indiana's place in the economy of the future. Two, let's transform the delivery of public health access. And three, let's continue to make unprecedented investments in the classrooms of Indiana schools. Investment is a strong sign of a promising future, and the governor says investment loves the state of Indiana. He discussed his plans for the future for all counties, as well as a major highway that affects many tri-staters. And we have a race plan in place to help all 92 counties reach their next level aspirations. That includes finishing I-69 next year. <laughs> Connecting Evansville to Indianapolis and beyond, three years ahead of schedule, by the way. And he continues with how investments have a huge impact through the state, including high paying wages. In counties like Boone and Floyd, where committed jobs average over $50 an hour, and in Davies County, over $70 an hour. These high wage job opportunities are the best way to keep our kids close to home, and there's more coming. One of the other main topics Governor Holcomb discussed was debt and how the state of Indiana since 2017 has decreased its debt by over 30 percent. 